Yeah, good evening YouTube. I mean, I felt shitty all day and I still feel a little shaken up, so don't mind. But I'll give you an update uh, on the Relay Card project and I have made, yeah, you could say considerable progress here. Um, I've got the network portion, portion of the card working and I was afraid that it'll take me too much code on the AVR. It only has a 16, uh, 16 kilobytes code size, but it was quite well. And yeah, so I guess what I want to show you is um, a little proof of concept that it actually works. Um, I have found myself a little test program which is called Send IP. So with Send IP you can bundle up a UDP package. Um, what I use on the card is UDP as a protocol. Um, UDP is simply enough uh, for my purposes and it requires me only about two kilobytes of code including the ANC 28J60 driver that I need. So all in all two kilobytes of code which is, yeah, it's good. Um, I've implemented something, I bundled this package up and used the data uh, and the data that I sent to the card um, yeah, is then displayed on the LCD. This is just a test, I mean, obviously, but it shows that the thing is working and that I get grip of the, po uh, of the data. Um, problem is, I can't show you the card and the thing, you know. Let's display <clears throat> one, three, four, five on the display. I'll send this package. I can send it now. You see, then it says, "Yeah, this is the data I sent to this IP and that and all." Um, I do that again and show you the card. Okay, now press return. Okay, this is the data that is sent over the Ethernet via UDP. Let's do another package, so you believe me. It's, um, problem is, I'm a little limited on what I show. I can say something like A, B, C, which then will display in a hexadecimal um, digits on the display. Let's do that. One A, B, C. Let's send it. Let's send it again. So you see the network traffic. Yeah, see a little LED blinking here. Okay. And what you also can do is a ping on the card. The card can be pinged. And what I did with the ping command is I limited the response time. Well, I, I blew it up to about 10 milliseconds, so flood pings are not... Yeah, well, you could do a flood ping, and with a flood ping you could, well, send the system to hell. So I prevented this by blowing up the response time to 10 milliseconds. Let's do it. Um... The IP address and all the MAC address are, of course, freely configurable, but for my purposes, yeah, 10 milliseconds. I used a timer for that, and yeah, no specifics about the implementation, but ping, 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 yeah. For me it was important to get this working, I have not too much code that I need to implement the stuff because I only have 16 kilobytes, uh, I'm a little small on, on RAM here, I'll be having issues. Oh, let's do this one more time because it is so nice. Let's do zero, zero will not be displayed then and say, yeah well what could we do, we're a little limited here anyways. Um, four, five, six. Then it will, it will, it will just show four, five, six. Now let's do this. Oh no! Uh, now I did something wrong. Maybe it's the zero. Oh, I don't know. Could be the string encoding here. I don't know. So this again. Yeah, it was the zero. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, it's just a just a little test anyways. So the data is transmitted and is received. And with this little tool, I can bundle up more packages and also can t uh, implement a little test for the protocol itself, like command ID and then arguments for the command. Yeah, well, the stuff you need for communicating with the card and then, yeah, make up a protocol to get all the stuff actually working. You can see a response here. Um, yeah, that's because this program doesn't read a response. Well, that's a little bad, but... Uh, one thing what we can do is do an end map so you can see that no, come on. let's do a, let's do an end map yep this will scan the card for open open ports and I have one port this is port 80 and it's UDP that's why I say why I use this parameter it says use a UDP scan of course, I don't have a complete IP impl um, a TCP implementation here. So it says port 80 is open, and this is an unknown MAC address. This is the MAC address actually FA48 is was what I used for the card the standard MAC address. Uh, I generated this uh, this, this MAC address here. I generated this randomly. So and since there's no supplier for this MAC address, it says unknown. But well, anyways, you could change the MAC address as well. But especially if you have more than one card, of course, then you should change it. But it's still so far, yeah. That's it from me for now. I say thanks for watching and um, yeah if I have news about the card about the project I'll drop you a line a video whatever yeah see you soon